Keep calm. And carry on buying AI tech stocks as they deviate from the high. Where the greater the deviation, then the greater the buying opportunity presented. Keep calm and carry on buying. Quantum AI. Why most stocks may go nowhere for the next 10 years. Here's why PE ratios matter, as this chart shows the return 10 years forward from a starting PE, average PE, say, if the stock market is trading on an average PE of 27, then basically expected to go nowhere for the next 10 years. Whilst the lower the PE, the higher the expected return on average where the safe zone for investing is at a starting PE of between 10 and 20. Basically a PE of 15 is what you should be aiming for, for safe, reliable returns. The lower the better. Note the graph is as of September 2021 when I was warning why this bull market at the time was going to end imminently. It actually ended in mid-December. Oh no, early January was the peak in the S&P and I gave my firm bear warning on the 5th of December that a bear or even a crash is coming during 2022. Anyway, these are the current PE ratios versus what they were a year ago in September 2021. As you can see, you know, the Dow Jones PE has not dropped much. 17 against 24. Transports, that's dropped a lot. <laughs> it's 20% of where it was. Nasdaq's obviously fallen a lot. It was overvalued, way overvalued. It dropped. It's now 63% of where it was. S&P, similar to Nasdaq, but you know less volatile. 17.8. That is getting into the target zone. Nasdaq's a little bit expensive. Dow's in the target zone for accumulation for the long run. What about my AI? tech stocks portfolio well the top six stocks average PE now is 18.8 verse 42 so you can see why I was selling I sold 80% during the last quarter or the last six months of 2021 80% of my holdings because they were way over by P average PE of 42 That's ridiculously overvalued now 18.8 for these growth stocks is good on average, some are ridiculously high, like Microsoft, Apple, and videos come down, but it's still expensive. Anyway, what about the top 10 AI tech stocks? That's got an average PE of 16.5. Obviously, the micro microns and bring the PE down somewhat. And what about the sleepers? They are a PE ratio just nine. That's less than 10. Whereas 15.8, they're like throwing the baby out with the bathwater then. No. But they, what are they going to discount? Armageddon. And what about all 21 of the AI portfolio stocks? They are an average P of 16.2 versus 28.8 a year ago. So the AI stocks portfolio has delivered both to the upside by becoming very overvalued and now to the downside by becoming cheap cheaper than the indices cheaper than nasdaq cheaper than the dow cheaper than the s p look 16.2 is the average the lowest is uh, the dow isn't it and forget the transport that's irrelevant you should really forget the dow as well now just focus on the s p nasdaq they got too much waiting with apple and microsoft so stock prices four more during 2021 to ridiculously high valuations and then collapsed all the way to below the indices during 2022 which now makes most dirt cheap because you know what's going to happen during the next bull market rinse and repeat they're going to go from being undervalued to overvalued the bottom line is the ai tech stock cycle between overvaluation and undervaluation where today the stocks trade sub indices 
So whilst the indices may go nowhere, it's possible because you know inflation, the AI tech stocks definitely will once more reach a state of overvaluation, just as they were towards the end of 2021, way overvalued. Whilst today the same investors were following when I was selling, you know, I, I was getting so much resistance. My patrons didn't actually want to hear the message to sell. That's what I was surprised. I was, Don't you want to cash in your profit? You know I mean? So they were forming when I was selling and now waiting for a crash in the indices all whilst AI tech stocks enter into a stealth bull market. Yes, there's a stealth bull market which will leave most gobsmacked as to how the hell did the tech stocks they were waiting to buy recoup most of their bear market declined you know you're talking about 20 30 percent easy before the end of this year and this video is merely an excerpt from my extensive analysis truly extensive analysis it's mega analysis even from my standards it's mega piece that concludes in a detailed stock market trend forecast into the end of next year end of 2023 a detailed trend forecast that tries to map out the trend for the dow into the end of 2023 that's that's why i needed to do the extent of the analysis i had to you know to settle on a high probability trend forecast and which was first made available to patrons who support my work so for immediate first access to all of my analysis trend forecast then do consider becoming a patron by supporting my work for just four bucks per month that's nothing four dollars per month that is nothing and my forthcoming you get access to all of my recent analysis apart from this mega piece and the schedule of analysis includes uh, US house prices trend forecast that would be three year trend forecast. I already released a preliminary forecast, so I had to hit the po pause button on that to focus on the stock market. But I've done 80%, so I, I've got a rough idea where it's going. I just need to finish it and fine tune it. That'll be my next piece, mega piece. And then there's regular analysis, you know, updates on the state of the stock market portfolio. Then there's the global housing market. I'm going to do that about halfway done. Then we'll look at the detail, look at the British pound and US dollar, even though it is included in this analysis. I have done analysis of the dollar, which is important. And then I'll update the high risk stocks portfolio. There's two of them. There's the mid 2021 and the February 2022 portfolios. And I'll have a look at the crypto market. Is there any sign of life there? Is it, is it falling enough? I remember when I did the analysis last year, I was looking for around 83% drop in the Bitcoin price. Has it fallen by 83%? The high was around 70,000, so I don't think it's got there quite yet. And then I'll have a look at gold and silver, though it's not top of my list. And for Christmas, a special, how to get rich. This is not some garbage. This is step-by-step -step guide of what you need to do it's not there's no easy way to get rich but i'll show you i'll do my best to teach you how to get rich hardcore no waffle direct points step by step how to get rich that will be posted during christmas that's a mega piece that's what i'm gonna, I'm gonna I'll probably update that annually you know as I add more stuff to it because step-by-step guide so for all of that do consider becoming a patron by supporting my work for just four bucks per month to get immediate access to all of my analysis and trend forecasts four dollars per month is nothing and do remember to subscribe to this YouTube video for new videos gaining access to over 35 years experience right from before the 1987 crash straight through to this stock's bear market that we ride the quantum AI mega trend into the future.
Thank you.